Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's check out the Bitcoin news for today. There's a lot of it going on, especially as we've hit that $40,000 top. I've also got a video on the channel about my Bitcoin prediction at the moment. Obviously, everything's changing so quickly and it's giving you a bit of a roadmap for the next one to three months, just in case things turn from this point and you found yourself buying the tops and you're thinking, am I buying too late? If you're thinking you're buying too late or you're asking the question, definitely go and check out that video. If you like the content, let me know down below in the comments and of course, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, like the video up, let's get into it. Quick look at the coin market cap before we move on, $1 trillion, we've got to bring that up again. 1 trillion uh, Bitcoin, 38 and a half thousand. Let's hit refresh and see what happens. We still at 1 trillion? Yeah, we've gone up a little more. 38,700. Ethereum, 1,100. Ripple finally bottoming out. Long term, who knows? But that's what we have talked about. As much as the XRP army loves to hate my Ripple videos, I was talking about a bottoming structure occurring on Ripple. Way up here, 38,500. Again, if you want a detailed technical analysis view of what is going on over the next one to three months, check out the video I just put up about Bitcoin and is it too late to buy? With that said, let's have a look at some of the news. Bitcoin crypto emerging as one of the most important sectors in the global economy, says investing legend Fred Wilson. Now, as I was going through some of these news articles, and I have about probably more, more than a dozen sitting up here to go through, which I'll go through quite quickly. I, the point I try to do with the news is pick out what I think is important, marry that to the charts. Are we seeing what the news is actually talking about? Essentially trying to understand the market sentiment and then what is happening in the charts. Because if we've got a lot of bad news coming out in the market that the chart's not doing anything, you know, it's just sort of sitting, it, it sort of, it drops a little on some of this really bad news. Uh, and then starts to move up again. That's obviously a bull market. And the news, the fundamentals aren't going to tell us that. The chart's gonna tell us that. The news and fundamentals are gonna tell us uh, what sort of environment we are in. Are we in the bull? Are we in the bear? Are we unsure? That's what's gonna tell us. Because if we end up getting a whole lot of good news in a bear market, it's not gonna do anything to the price. But if we get the good news in the bull market, then it will push the price up. So I just wanna take little pieces out of these news articles and just see what is actually important in them. Because there's, there's too much for anyone to go through and read everything. And that's basically what I try to do is read as much as I can and then put it into a video so that you guys can get a, a, an understanding and then hit me in the comments with, with your thoughts so that we can all learn from that as well. So the, the main thing I take from this article, Bitcoin and crypto, is this going to help Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies or is it not? So the article is talking about emergency, uh, emerging as one of the most important sectors. All right, so as inflection point for the tech startup VC, crypto sectors are significant ones. And this was due to the global pandemic, uh, ugly politics, etc. These sectors which had been growing in their global importance over the last 20 years, all of a sudden have emerged as the most important sectors of the global economy. So they're basically saying we had this event in 2020, we had the global pandemic that has brought tech to the spotlight. Is that going to continue improving the trend? Is it going to speed up the, tr the tech trend? This article is trying to tell us yes. And this was said by uh, Fred Wilson, investing legend. I don't think we could disagree with this. I think we've seen tech come out and just go absolutely nuts over the last 12 months since the, the first announcements of the pandemic. Obviously, there was the, the quick drop and then everything took off after that. So tech is definitely going to be coming in a lot, lot harder than this. No doubts about it. The, the famed investor suggests that while Tesla and Bitcoin may currently be in speculative bubbles, the attention they have garnered will help those and other rapidly growing assets achieve widespread adoption much faster than they otherwise would have. So they're trying to give us this narrative that the news is speeding up adoption. Now, personally, I'm gonna take that with a grain of salt. I'm gonna to stick to the chart. Yes, it has been going parabolic, which doesn't surprise me why I would wanna see an article like this or why they're trying to put articles like this out as the market itself is going parabolic. Look, look at that steep rise in the price at the moment. Basically, when these articles start to come out and the price doesn't do anything, if there's enough big news, then I would start to think, hang on a minute, the news isn't aligning with the chart. Let's move on to the next 
point here. Rail Pal says Bitcoin now targeting 1 million by 2026. Uh, let me know in the comments if you haven't heard of Raul Pal before. I know there's quite a, a few of you guys who are new, who are just getting into cryptocurrency. Uh, and also he's got a YouTube channel, Real Vision as well. So he talks a lot about that. Again, another one that I do enjoy listening to. You know, he's a famed investor. He understands what he's doing with investing. However, having said that, look, I'm just a guy here in my Gold Coast home office uh, and here's someone out there in the Cayman Islands with these tens or hundreds of millions, sorry. But again, try not to get too caught up on the hopium. The $1 million target by 2026. Are you going to hold your one Bitcoin from now until then with price fluctuations through 200 grand, 300 grand, falls maybe to 100 grand, maybe it goes to 500, but you sold out at 200 and it only falls back to 300. Are you, are you going to be able to stomach this? You know, that's easy to read this title and think, yep, we're going to a million, but the journey along the way, that's another story. All right, so that's pretty much what is going on here. Basically, supply is restricted, algorithmically restricted. Yes, there's only 21 million. There's about 4 million actually circulating because the rest are either lost or locked up for a period of time or people aren't taking that out again. They're just basically bought and hodling it now until we see another peak in the market. So it can never be changed. So you will always know what the supply is. So then the question is, what is the demand? Yeah, at the moment, demand is very high. He goes on to say, it's the same way that gold works, diamond works, things like that. Diamonds, oh, I think we probably scrap diamonds off that. But anyway, rare assets, and it becomes relatively predictable. That predictability would suggest that we might get somewhere like 1 million by 2025, 2026. If we get a huge pumping from the Democrats in the US, I would expect this could easily go into the hundreds of thousands quite quickly. I think a lot of people are already seeing that. Obviously, uh, right now, the whole case with trying to get Trump out of office and well, the, the Democrats having to go through that process to get Biden into the office after the election in November, uh, the stimulus that the Democrats are looking at bringing into the market, I've heard numbers around $3 trillion. And that looks like it also continues to, to send the NASDAQ skyrocketing. That's probably going to send a lot of these uh, currency skyrocketing, that money has to go somewhere. And so that's just going to add fuel to the current fire. And we don't even have that money out yet and the fuel's already getting pretty hot. All right, so then basically just goes on to talk about here, 1 million is about 50 fold from here. Currently we're 300 million market cap. So this, he said this quite a long time ago. Well, maybe a couple of weeks ago, but the article's only come out now because Bitcoin's obviously doubled from 20 to 40 grand and it's now at around 700 billion. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, 720 billion. So yeah, 360 billion <laughs> a month ago. All right, next article. CEO of financial giant Devere has sold half of his Bitcoin portfolio. All right, why is he selling half now? There should be no misunderstanding about my decision to sell. It is not due to a lack of belief in Bitcoin or the concept of digital currencies. It's profit taking. Now to buy more later. Profit taking now, 40,000, where, where did he do it at? Wow, according to the post, Devere's group CEO sold the Bitcoin around the time it hit a high of uh, 24,000. The flagship crypto investor went on to reach nearly asset, sorry, 35 grand in the first week of 2021. Green maintains that his faith is unwavering despite him selling half his Bitcoin. Indeed, more than ever, I believe that the future of money is cryptocurrency. So are we seeing a very quick, short, sharp bull market to 40,000 and then it's over? What do you guys think? You know, I've talked about this. I think it's going to 200. What do you guys think? There could be other reasons out there. Like I'm open to suggestions and other analysis to suggest maybe this is this is a, a, a massive bubble, just like 2017, and it took forever in 2017. Maybe this is the final bubble. Maybe this area, all of this, was the lead up into 2017. Maybe that was, that was through here. You know, this is all 2020, even though it was above the all-time high, and now we're just seeing this blow-off top. Who knows, maybe I should start selling out. It's interesting. We've hit an all-time high. 
Are we going to 400, 500 in this cycle? It's it's yet to be seen, and I'm going to keep following the one day. I'm thinking about it now. You can see you can see it in in my thoughts. Why is why is this guy selling out half? Where are we at, CEO? Why is Devere Group selling out half of his Bitcoin now at 24,000 when it went to 40? There is a lot of hype, that's for sure. Top regulators says U.S. banks can use stable coins for payments. That's basically just saying that uh, you know it's positive for the space. After nailing Bitcoin's price in 2020, Max Kaiser unveils massive prediction for year ahead. We are looking very toppy, right? There's a lot of these big predictions. This is what happened in 2017. Let me know in the comments if you guys were around in 2017. Did you, do you remember when it, when Bitcoin was at five grand, ten grand, and we were getting calls of this thing is going to a hundred thousand? It's going to a hundred thousand, and then there was 200, 500, and a million. You know, we always use those increments. You know, there's a, there's a ten cent, there's a twenty cents, there's a fifty cents, and there's a dollar. There's nothing really in between. People love those levels. So now he's calling for he's going with two twenty. I'm thinking two hundred based on my previous video. I've got all the, the the reasons in that one. So check that out. I'm going with 220 per Bitcoin as a 2021 target. That would bring us up to $4 trillion market valuation, which I think is a good 2021 objective. I mean, we're going from 700 billion to 4 trillion. We're, we're getting way out there. Uh, the, the shortage, the, the supply shortage could get us there, maybe for a brief moment until people like that CEO we just looked at dump a whole lot of crypto back on the market to sell it off. And we see a spike into 200 and then a quick crash correction to 150, 120. Yet to be seen. You know, I'm just putting ideas out there so that I can emotionally gather myself if in case that happens. Because we've got to be prepared for that. We can be prepared, be prepared in the charts, but emotionally, it's almost impossible to prepare for something like this unless we have gone through it ourselves. Institutional investors, now this is just adding more fuel to the fire. Uh, institutional investor executes one of the largest crypto trades in history on Coinbase. He trades about 600 million worth of Bitcoin and Ethereum through One River Digital Asset Management with plans to increase the company's holdings to 1 billion in early 2021. So 600 million already. They say this was probably the second week. It did say December. That's when they that's when they started One River Asset Management. It's very suspicious that there's a lot of these asset management companies all beginning now uh, and getting a lot of these institutions or family offices into the market. So could we say late in the game? Who knows? It might just be the beginning of this bull market. 600 million and they're going to a holdings to 1 billion. All right, is Warren Buffett right about Bitcoin? Investor, investing icon Bill Miller says BTC may be rat poison. Now, I just want to go straight to the, the call here. Warren Buffett famously called Bitcoin rat poison. He may well be right. Bitcoin could be the rat poison and the rat could be cash. So the cash is coming towards the poison and getting absolutely annihilated. Analyst Willie Wu says Bitcoin could flip gold's trillion dollar use as financial hedge this year. Wow, look, another one, 240,000. So people are calling into this 200 grand level and uh, everything just needs to get more and more crazy to get the headlines. That's that's something that I'm noticing here. We're at 240, we were at around you know the 100,000s uh, a couple of months ago, then we were hitting the, now we're hitting the 200, sorry, and we're also seeing the 500 calls and the million dollar calls. It's, this is going to be a rocky ride whenever this is over. Uh, how much belief will we have in it after that point? You know, once we do get a crash, is, is it the end? That's going to be the, that's going to be the huge call from a lot of people. Mark Cuban's Bitcoin plan Run for president if Bitcoin hits 1 million. Free Satoshis for every citizen. How will that work? What is he on about? If Bitcoin gets to 1 million and people have to donate 350 Bitcoin to the treasury each year. So they have to donate 350 million to, uh, to the US treasury. Then everyone will get some Satoshi. So he says one, but later clarifies that it's 100 Satoshis per citizen per year. What would 100 Satoshis be worth? A, a dollar? 
Am I doing my maths right? Is a hundred million, hundred maybe it's worth a hundred bucks. I don't know, but they have to hold it for ten years as well. There's too many zeros in that for me to calculate it too quickly. A hundred million satoshis in one bitcoin, and they're going to get a hundred satoshis. You do the maths. The interesting point with this is that it, it's really getting even more public in the mainstream eye. Is that why we're seeing this ever increasing parabolic move? Potentially, I don't want to see something like like this happen and just tank out for a long time. I definitely want to see some sort of accumulation area like we saw through here and just see how many days we've been out of the all time high, which we know was this point. This was the break. We've been out of the all time high at 21. So, uh, sorry, 22 days to the top. One more day is 23. Let's see what happens next week. 30 days is usually a good turning point in markets as well. And if we get this explosive move to 50, where are we going to come back to? So 30 days is definitely something to be looking out for. We'll check back every day from here, but uh, that's what I wanna leave you guys with today. That's the Bitcoin news over the last couple of days. Let me know in the comments what else you wanna have a look at, but I'm primarily following Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a few of the other coins which I've mentioned in previous videos as well, but they are the two largest holdings for me if you guys are asking, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's what I'm following mostly. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Some value from the video if you got some. Hit me in the likes, comments, subscribe, bell notification icon. If you need a refresher on is it too late to buy Bitcoin, go and check my other video out that I put up about Bitcoin. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.